Hi guys, Tracy here with another scrapbooking process video. Today I am scrapbooking with the hip kit from the month of May. Shout out of thanks to them for providing me with my supplies for this month and all of the other months. So thanks so much to them. Make sure you check out their website that is linked in the information section for all of my videos. So here I am with the kit and today, oh my goodness, do I ever feel like embellishing. I feel like the last several layouts that I have created have not really had a whole lot of opportunity for embellishing. And so I just kind of wanted to get it out of my system. So one of my most recent layouts included cutting out some of the zigzags from the chevron pattern paper that came in the kit. It's from the Chamel collection. And uh, I am going to use some of the leftover pieces of that zigzag for the top and the bottom of this. And then I'm going to use that piece of Pretty Little Studio. Um, no, hang on a second. What's the name of that paper? It is actually from Pink Fresh, from the Dream On collection from Pink Fresh Studio. I'm just taking a scrap of black cardstock from my stash and I'm going to mat the photo. This is a three by three inch photo, matting it in black just to give it a little bit more weight because I know I'm going to, to really surround it with a whole lot of embellishments. That's about all I know. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do, but uh, I wanted it to have a bit of weight for that reason. And then I also matted it in that, uh, in that daisy paper from, I believe that is from Dear Lizzie. So I'm taking off all of the manufacturer's strips for all of those papers so that I can just go ahead and start to build my layout. So those two zigzag uh, papers, I'm actually going to run them through my sewing machine. This is my little half size Kenmore sewing machine. I love this thing. Uh, it I love it, but it's kind of broken. It um, the, the bobbin tension, it doesn't matter what I do with the thread tension, but the bobbin tension on this little machine is out of whack, which means, and, and I know how to fix it, I have to open it up and take a little screwdriver and just tighten a little piece of the bobbin casing. Um, but I just never want to do that. So instead, I'm just putting up with the, <laughs> with the fact that the tension is off. And so the stitching is going to be much, much looser than it's supposed to be. But I guess for this month anyways, until whenever I decide to open up my machine and fix that, uh, it's just the look I'm going with is loose threads. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think that part of the reason I haven't done it is that it seems like every time I do it, it's a shorter and shorter time span between when I fix it and when it needs to be fixed again. So I think that the machine is just, I don't know, maybe the housing of the screw that I have to tighten is becoming stripped or it's just a looser screw than what it's supposed to be. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, whatever the case is, I am, zig I am zigzag. I'm actually straight stitching around the zigzags uh, on the top and bottom edges, like basically the zigzag cut edges, I'm just outlining all the way around with my sewing machine and then just straight stitching around the two sides and the bottom. So basically I have these little zigzagged toppers and bottoms as being uh, outlined, but they're outlined with thread instead of with marker. I'm taking the larger one of the two. See, those actually looked quite nice layered like that. I think I might go back to that idea at some point of layering some cut zigzags. Um, but I'm putting the larger on the bottom for the additional weight. It also has more of the dark color on it. So it just weigh, weights down the, the layout and makes it heavier at the bottom, which is what I typically like on my pages. It's not wrong to put heavy things on the top. I just, I prefer it this way for my own eye. So these are all of the wonderful embellishments that come with this kit. And I just felt like I was not able to embellish nearly as much as I wanted on my last two layouts. So today I'm going to go to town and go a little bit overboard, depending on how you, how you define it. Um, and now I, th one of the things that I really want to do is use this girl. I have used this girl before. I, this is my second sheet of this Maggie Holmes chipboard. This, this sheet came in the May hip kit. And uh, I just love that girl so much that having a second chance to use her really uh, made my heart sing a little bit, I have to be honest. And so I'm going to put her right beside my daughter. Even though she's a little bit bigger than my daughter, I 
think, you know, normally if I were following the rules, I wouldn't want an embellishment to be bigger than the subject, especially, you know, like when it's a person. <laughs> um, but in this case, I just want to go to town and throw caution to the wind and not really follow any of the rules. I just want to throw as much stuff on this page as I possibly can and have fun with it. That's my main objective today is to just have fun and not be so restrained. I just want to do what I want to do. So I am putting that girl right beside my daughter, even though she's bigger than her. That's okay. I like how her feet go between the R and the H, like the A senders in the R and the H in the, in the word happy heart. And now I'm just putting some of these puffy stickers that are exclusive to the hip kit. One that's going to point to the cake that my daughter's holding and a couple of borders down at the bottom. They're going to fill in some of the space because the photo kind of floats between the happy heart phrase and then where the photo is. There's a little bit of trapped space there and I'm going to fill that in a couple of different ways. I definitely want my journaling to go behind this girl who I have, the chipboard girl. And uh, she just reminds me so much of my daughter carrying all her little things. My daughter is always carrying little things around and this girl has a camera and a book and a little bird on her on her shoulder. And my daughter is very much like that. She always has a little handful of things that she's carrying around with her. So I love that girl on this layout. Uh, now, the, the books I thought would be um, relevant because this photo was taken at school, but they're just a little bit too big. I really like those two layered feathers there though, but I feel like something has to go behind the feathers the same way that I put something behind the girl. I need something behind the feathers. Now this heart looks really nice poking out uh, behind the tags there. And now, oh, I might as well just keep on going and add a little bit more. Here are some stars that don't exist anywhere else on the layout, but who cares? Let's slip them in right here behind these feathers. <laughs> You don't have to repeat things unless if you want to. <laughs> so I have a flower down by the word T that's going to be the base of one cluster of embellishments. And then I have this heart and this tag that says so very beautiful. Uh, that's going to be the basis of another cluster. And then those feathers and stars over uh, to the left side of my hand is covering right now is going to be the third place where I will cluster some embellishments. So very tight clusters in this case. Each cluster is very, very close to the other. They're not spread around the page like I sometimes do. This little heart looks cute there, tucked right behind the T. And now I'm just going to place these little random stars in behind the feathers. I think they look nice there. Who says you need to have stars in all three places? I'm just going to put them in one. So I have a star in one corner, stars and feathers in one corner, flowers in another corner, and a heart in another. So each of these corners of embellishment have completely different things in them. So now this little phrase that goes with the bird, the bird is from the Hip Kit Puffy stickers, it says, a little bird told me. Now here's what my journaling says. It says, uh, Sophie has been trying to win a cake at the Spring Fling Cakewalk for seven years. And then I squeezed an exclamation point in there. 2017 was her year. She was so proud. She's literally played that game multiple times every single year. And they have dozens of cakes up there for people to win. And all around the school, all these people walk around with these big giant cakes in their hands. <laughs> and Sophie always feels bad every year. She's like, all those people won cakes and I didn't. And so this year, she was so proud to have finally won a cake. I am putting some cute little puffy stickers from the Dear Lizzie puffy stickers around. And I've already used some of the puffy stickers from the hip kit puffy stickers and now this little banner thing here uh, that has a, it looks like a little brad but it's actually a sticker it's from the chamel collection uh, it came in the project life hip kit this month and i really liked it but the but the uh, thing that looked like a brad but it's actually a sticker it's a button um, that thing was just too small the one that came with it and so i switched it to another one and then i switched it yet again to this one no, no, I just switched it once. Um, I'm going to switch it again later. 
Uh, so more of those buttons. I'm just kind of spreading them. These are from the ship. Wait a minute. Am I saying Chamel? They're from Dear Lizzie. Sorry. Those little embellishment button things. Adding another hot air balloon over here, just floating out. And I'm going to take some of these little word stickers and stick them in every here and there as well. And the words say um, challenge, believe in yourself, see the light, everything's possible, sunny day, and seek magic every day. I'm just putting a couple in each of the embellishment clusters. And since these clusters are so random, the fact that they each have a little word, like a little phrase sticker, really kind of brings them together. So they might have all random elements in each of the clusters, but those and also the little the presence of those little buttons are two things that just make it look a little bit less random and chaotic. A few extra little puffy hearts every here and there. I resisted putting something in that little space by her feet, between her feet and the H. I think that that would look a little cluttered if I put something in there. I just like the background paper, the lined paper sticking out there. And now I'm going to change this because the Brad says uh, live happy or something. And then it's right beside a little phrase that says fine little day. And so I, I just didn't... I. I don't usually like two phrases to be quite so close together, so I switched it out for a camera brad. It's actually not a brad, but it's a. it looks like a brad. It's a sticker. So this one obviously came together super, super fast. It took me less than an hour to make this. And I think that it, it's really freeing sometimes to just not even think about the rules um, and just have fun putting stuff on your layout and don't necessarily think about whether it looks good or what's right or wrong and just just have fun with the products that you have and telling the story this is not a fantastic photo it's very cluttered it's not great quality it's quite grainy and so you know it's I'm, I'm not I'm not really kind of shackled to the idea of doing a wonderful job scrapbooking this awesome photo. It's more just a snapshot. Let's get the story told and let's have some fun with some of the products that I have on my desk. So those were my main objectives for this one. And I think that I definitely uh, succeeded in terms of I certainly had a lot of fun making it. And I think I'm done, I guess. Uh, I, what I thought about doing here was maybe adding some splatter, but I thought with so much stuff piled on, and a lot of the stuff is small too, right? So in usually when I do this much embellishing, I will use much bigger elements in behind and then medium sized elements on top of that and then small elements on the very very top but this one is kind of lots and lots of small embellishments very close to one another so because of that I really didn't feel like I needed any kind of splatter I think uh, having a mostly white background uh, upon which all of these embellishments sit so that that pink fresh studio background paper with just the little diamonds on it really helps you be able to pull off this kind of a super embellished cluttered fun look I think it looks very whimsical and fun I'm not sure that I would want every single layout in my album to look like this but I certainly had a lot of fun uh, scrapbooking this so so please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really does help me out and thumbs up this video and leave me a comment below if you have anything to say about it. And check out our Facebook group. We have a wonderful, chatty, engaging group going on over on Facebook. And also check out the information section for this video if you'd like links to the Hip Kit Club or any other information on how you can support me and my channel if you'd like to do that. Take care and have a really great Scrappy Week!